Let him who is without sin cast the first bomb. This was done uh, in the shadow of the hydrogen bomb, in the same way that we are now in the shadow of the COVID virus. People were uh, really afraid of mass extinction by a hydrogen bomb. Editor Tully Cooperberg, December 1962, subscription $1 for the next four issues or until the end of the world. Announcing the first annual World's Worth Poetry Contest. Send your or your friends manuscripts. Now, Tully uh, wrote um, a visit from Old Nicholas. Now you all know who Old Nicholas is. He's not Saint Nicholas. He's uh, a distant relative uh, from the other side of the mythological spectrum. He's actually the devil. So this is very small print, so I'm going to try to get up close and read it to you. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the shelter, not a creature was stirring, not even rock felter. Geiger counters were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that old Nicholas would soon be there. The children were all nestled, all drugged in their beds, while visions of H-bombs danced in their heads. And Mama in a gas mask, and I in saran wrap, had nestled our TV for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The bomb on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes would appear but a miniature hearse and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be old Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Teller, now Dulles, now Con, now Nixon, on Adenauer, on Dieu, Diem, and Franco, and Blitzen, to the top of the perch to the top of the wall. Now blast away, blast away, blast away all. Huh. And dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, where they meet with a obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the courses, the housetop they flew, with a sleigh full of bodies, old Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, old Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in uranium from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of bombs he had flung on his back, and he looked like a surgeon just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like ulcers, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and he heard on his chin, oh, and the beard on his chin was as black as the snow. The stump of an arm he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. 
He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he scowled like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby and plump, a right, ob obese old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of the head soon gave me to know I had something to dread. He spake not a word, but went straight to his work and radiated stockings, then turned like a jerk and laying his finger on the side of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Huh. He sprung like, a, like his hearse and to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, here they drove through the sky, final Christmas to all and to all a goodbye. And that's signed Clemency Tullery. We all know who that is. Girl with Protruder.